What is going on my Super Sandwiches, Rob Slayer here, and today I have a new theory for Dragon Ball Super based off of episode 12 this past weekend, meaning we're going to be talking about episode 12 and a little bit of chapter 4 of the manga, so if you're okay with spoilers, if you've already seen slash read that stuff, keep watching, if not, this is your last warning to leave right now. But episode 12, let's start there. Oh my god, episode 12 was freaking intense, and not to do a second review, um, if you want to see my review, I'll link it in the description below, but episode 12 was so intense, and just shows you on what caliber two gods can get to when they fight. Now, in the Battle of Gods movie, they didn't really portray that that well. Like, Goku became a Super Saiyan God, and it was just a powered-up character that was so in insanely powerful, but compared to Beerus, it was kind of a joke. But in Dragon Ball Super, both Goku and Beerus, they're actually fighting like gods, and it's to the point where each hit that connects, each, like, fist-to-fist, -fist, you know, elbow-to-elbow, kick-to-kick, is causing these shockwaves that's literally destroying the universe as you speak. In the anime, um, from this past weekend, we're literally watching plants get destroyed just from the sheer force of them battling. And with that, I started thinking, what if in the anime, actually, they take a different approach to introduce Shampa into the story? Now, in Chapter 4, we saw the way they introduced Shampa is he's sneaking around the Universe 7 for whatever reason, looking for the Super Dragon Balls. In Chapter 4, uh, it sounds like and looks like he finds a Super Dragon Ball because we see him destroy a Frieza spaceship who mentions, oh my god, giant Dragon Balls. And from there, he says he has a special souvenir for Beerus with a smirk, which makes you think that maybe he's collecting these Super Dragon Balls to do something to Beerus. Maybe he's trying to kill him, overthrow him, make him weaker, who knows. Maybe Shampa was a previous God of Destruction and he wants to get back in action and take over. I have no clue which uh, direction Toriyama is going with the story. However, what I do know is Shampa is trying to do something evil and the way they introduce him in manga is pretty cool. However, in the anime, uh, I see possibly a different approach to be taken to introduce Shampa in the story. One or two things. Either one, their fight is going to be so intense that in the next couple episodes, they're going to create a portal that's going to literally rip a hole in space open that's going to bring, uh, connect Universe 6 and 7 together where Shampa will probably pop in like, Hey, what's up guys? And then from there, do whatever it, you know he wants to do. Or maybe their fight is going to be so intense that the other universes should be able to sense it. I mean, I don't see why not because each hit, hit that connected with Goku and Beerus is felt through the entire universe, even to the plans of the Kai. So that shows you the sheer power of you know two gods battling. So I feel like... Maybe either Universe 6 is going to sense uh, the fight between Goku and Beerus, in which case Shampa and his assistant are going to come over and be like, hey, yo, what's going on? Knock it off. Or, you know, or maybe it's going to it's just create a portal itself where we'll see a brand new story different from the manga. And I guess the question I want to ask you guys first is if that actually happens, uh, which story do you guys like better? Do you like the idea of introducing Shampa slowly like they did in the manga where he's actually coming over to the universe trying to, you know, find a Super Dragon Ball to do whatever? Or would you guys want it to be just like how I suggested right now where basically the fight itself is going to attract, attract Shampa and his assistant over and then from there they'll do crazy stuff. Now, one thing we know for sure is the next uh, saga slash arc would definitely be the Resurrection of Frieza story because uh, they've already hinted at it in the manga and... Uh, Based on the next couple episodes and the titles, without you know talking about those, because I don't want to spoil those in case you know you want that fresh. Uh, it, it strongly hints that we're going into the Frieza saga next. It's going to be a time skip and everything, uh, based on my theory and my own thoughts. So I feel like we're going definitely going in Resurrection Frieza story next. But from there, I can't tell if Shampa and Universe Six is a story is going to introduce like throughout the next saga or it's going to happen next. Or if it's just going to be teased here and there, kind of like the manga has been teasing the whole Shampa story without really feeling too much. So it's like there's a lot of questions you want to ask out there. But for now, let's just stick to how Shampa should be introduced in the anime. Would you guys want it to happen the exact same way it did in the, in the manga where he's going to just kind of pop over and then look for the Super Dragon Balls? Or do you guys uh, want a different story where, you know, maybe the fight itself attracts Shampa over and from there we'll slowly see him kind of, you know, join Universe 7 and from there on do kind of craziness. Maybe by the time he's, you know, while he's in Universe 7, it causes a great unbalanced in Universe 6, and that's why they have to go to Universe 6 later to fix it, which makes me think that, you know, Shampa is less likely to be a villain, but more of a neutral character like Beerus. There's, like, so many questions out there you want to ask, and, you know, it's tough to really answer any of these questions because Toriyama has been so secretive and doing a great job in, you know, not telling us too much, but making us want as much as we want, so... It's kind of interesting to see how the story is going to develop. But, oh my god, episode 12 has me so hyped. That was a battle of gods that I wanted to see that the movie could not portray. Like, that's how two gods should freaking fight to the point where, you know, it's causing literally crumbles of, of, of planets or plants to crumble all around you. This also, let's end it again. Like I said in my review yesterday, let's end the Goku vs. Superman debate right now because I feel like Super Saiyan God Goku with the red hair should easily be able to beat Superman after the fight alone. Because I feel like with those punches, we haven't seen it with Superman and Goku, but now that we saw two gods fight, I feel like, you know, if Goku wants to hit Superman with that sheer power, it should be more than enough to destroy him. But again, it's a whole other debate. We'll probably do another video for that later as well, just because I feel like we have to cover that once again because. 
Uh, Death Battle didn't really cover it, and Screw Attack. Uh, but again, we'll do that later. But for now, what do you guys think about the whole Shampoo introduction, uh, I guess, idea? Let me know in the comment section below. So yeah. If you also have any other feedback as well, make sure you drop a comment below. And don't forget to leave a like rating below as well if you enjoyed today's video and all that good stuff. But other than that, as always, you guys enjoy the rest of the day. My name is Ryan Style, and I will see all you guys in Super Samson. Comment section below. Peace!